YouTubers, this is uh, going to be a bit of an extended video, hopefully. Um, I'll be covering the Annex SG Retro's Bikes uh, Commission, uh, some shout outs, and believe it or not, a website review which I think will interest all of you. Okay, to start, well, this is where I am, Scott, with your bikes at the moment. I haven't been as quick as I'd have hoped it to have been with uh, work commitments and the uh, time of year, blah blah. It's delayed me a little, I'm afraid, but, but as you can see, we're in full swing. Uh, I think, I can't remember if you've seen this one so far. This is one of the um, standard bikers, uh, very similar to the other one that you saw. Um, this might have been the first one I did. Um, they're pretty similar to each other anyway. Um, this one, I thought I'd finished it and then I noticed I've forgotten to do the purity seals that are just around his uh, belt. But um, another one of the standard bikers, heavily weathered like the others. And the one I'm currently working on, which will be finished tonight, is the Sanguinary Priest. Um, I can't tell if my camera's focusing guys, so I can't have it too close, I'm afraid. Um, I've got to say, these guys are a pig to paint when they're actually uh, glued to the bike. But nonetheless, they're coming out okay. This is the Sanguinary Priest, obviously he's got magnetised arms, so I've got to... Uh, well, I've got a crap load of arms to paint for you, but to be honest, so I'm going to have to make the uh, shoulder pads uh, uh, like a generic colour scheme, rather than give it give like the uh, sanguinary priest the one with a uh, a white trim. Then, of course, the opposing arm that's magnetised is going to have the white trim on as well. And with not knowing what type of weapons choices you're going to want to put on at the time, make it more difficult. So. I've uh, I've basically painted the helmet and other areas to denote the uh, sanguinary part in him rather than the rest of the box as you can see the generic red and silver sort of like trim so yeah that's what they're looking like so far bud I hope, hope you like the look of them um, as, as the entire squad, seven man squad, is going to look awesome. I tell you, I'm very envious of these bikes because they are superb. Great conversions. Uh, I love the capes. I love the capes, the way the capes flow um, behind. And um, with them looking like dirty and um, sand dune worn, you know. They, they, they really do look cool. You're going to have one very unique looking uh, bike squad there, bud. Like that'd be so awesome. I probably won't ship them to you. <laughs> I'm only joking, buddy. <laughs> Although it's a thought. <laughs> um, I've also, on uh, that note, been talking to um, Van Hammer regarding uh, the Vindicator. Um, we've both discussed the postage options, and we're both in agreement, really, bud, that it's not safe to send the Vindicator to me during the Christmas period. Um, I don't know about any of you guys, but I'm uh, suffering terrible postal delays at the moment. Um, I mean, I ordered my Ultramarines movie, what, uh, halfway through October? I still haven't received it. Yeah, I know there's guys in um, Las Vegas, in the States, they've received theirs, they've even made reviews on the film. You don't know how irritating it is, living in the UK, a UK produced film, and I still haven't got it. Unbelievable. So that's why we're going to hold off on the shipping, bud. Um, with all the work and time and effort that's gone into these things, we don't want anything to happen to them. So we're better off waiting. But you'll get them, good. Anyway, so there you go. There's your update on your bikes. Um, next up, I'm going to do a few shout-outs. All right, then. The first uh, shout-out I want to do is to uh, a great guy. Uh, his channel name is Faraxful. Um, he's also a member of the Red Steel Gaming Club. Um, what can I say about this guy? Well, he, he's, he's doing some really cool work at the moment. He's uh, building a Ultramarines army. Uh, there are a few videos of his progress in his uh, uploads. But uh, the mo one of the most impressive things being the uh, Warhound Titan that he's built out of um, Games Workshop boxes. 
um, his videos there go and check it out guys because it's definitely worth looking at because uh, you'd be amazed um, at what can be achieved out of um, Games Workshop boxes it's just awesome I mean I don't know about you guys but I think that's pretty impressive I'm so impressed that I've actually asked him to commission build me one and it's got to be done it's got to be done I plan to add a few uh, more details to them um, I've asked him to build me the basic hall so that should um, turn out really well you'll have to look out for that project in the future so yeah like I say definitely worth a look um, really pleasant guy to chat with so check him out next up we have Vivid Adventures 2010 another really really nice guy um, his content on his channel is uh, really good his videos range from hang on let me move down the list a little bit from uh, oh hang on a second yeah uploads I think that's a battle report down there I'm not sure if some of his old yeah it is he's got battle reports um, black temple army updates I mean there's some really nice uh, minis in here um, Chad is his name He's, he's got videos on building his game table, forming his uh, gaming club. Hopefully we'll be seeing him as a uh, club chapter soon. Um, and of course, lucky guy, done a bit of a review on the uh, Ultramarines film, uh, an unboxing I believe, or something similar. And he's recently done some scenery vids as well, which are really cool and interesting, as you can see on the screen there. There's a, a, a selection of vids there for you to check out. So, another one worth a look. Next up, Annex SG. Annex SG is the guy that's actually commissioned several uh, YouTubers to uh, paint him a, a, a 40k collaborative army featuring many artists. Um, in his upload section, he's uh, got a few videos regarding the building of his table. Um, commissions that he's received off a few of us um, great stuff to look at uh, on his channel he's also uh, stating who's involved in the project all definitely worth a look at and um, yeah Scott is a nice guy um, I believe he's doing some commissions of his own as well which would be interesting to watch and follow so definitely worth um, checking out and um, next up, uh, well, there's not many of you that don't know this guy, but I thought he needed a mention. He's the guy that's doing significant uh, conversions with green stuff, which are just totally awesome. Definitely worth checking out. Um, he's the guy that actually built the bikes I'm currently painting. He's just done some work for Ren Zero uh, for my septic uh, spores which really came out very well indeed excellent job glad I haven't got the trauma of trying to ship them um, all sorts of stuff on there it's got minis for sale as well um, I've had a few of them in the past although you haven't actually seen any of them yet other than Mephison because I still haven't got around to painting them but yeah definitely worth a look see um, and last but not least um, Girl Painter 2010, and yeah, I don't think it's any secret that she's my uh, partner. Uh, she uh, is building a uh, Evil Sons Orcs um, 40k army. She's got a, a few videos up at the moment, not too many, but they're definitely worth a look. Um, it'd be interesting to see what you guys think. There's a few Forge World items on there, and some conversion work the latest one being the battle fortress took me forever to build that thing but yeah be interesting for you uh, for you guys to uh, leave a few comments for her tell you what you think of the painting and let's see who else we have okay next up we have two smoking bolters um, a great uh, bunch of guys uh, they are actually a uh, 40k nation chapter club as well um, a great channel guys uh, definitely worth a look see they have excellent battle reports 
they also have a, a section of videos called Bolt Arounds, which um, is basically videos uh, explaining uh, rules to you in a much more clear and precise way and make, it makes it very understandable. Um, definitely hoping I'll be doing a few more of those in the past because they are, they are truly excellent. Um, like I say, plenty of battle reports and they've also been recently um, they showcased some, uh, I'm sure I've seen them on here somewhere, some Space Wolves, one of the members Space Wolves, which look really cool. And they've recently done a review on the new Ultramarines movie, which is uh, interesting to see, hear their thoughts on it. So yeah, just go and check them out guys. They're uh, a great bunch. Um, next up, Van Hammer 73. Another awesome guy. Uh, another green stuff wizard. And I'm not a shoddy painter either. Really good. Um, this guy's up to all sorts of things. He's currently on the Annex SG uh, community project as well. Um, in fact, it's fun that's going to be sending me the Vindicator to paint. So we shall see how that turns out when it happens. He's got updates for Annex SG's uh, projects, uh, various green stuff um, projects that he's worked on in the past. Um, overall, a cool guy to know and chat to. Definitely worth taking a look at his channel. I believe his partner as well also um, creates custom banners, and there'll invariably be a link to. Um, I think it's Seymour. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, there'll invariably be a link to a channel. So go and check that out as well. Um, awesome stuff. Awesome guy. And last but not least, I'm not sure if I've already said that, but Ren089, uh, another cool guy. Uh, and once again, another guy in the Annex SG project. Uh, as far as I can tell, uh, Ren0 has, has a, um, well he obviously has a, a large Tyranid high fleet. Um, he's currently building, from what I can see on his videos, a very large... Um, cityscape scenery table and also has a black templar army which hopefully uh, we'll have dealings with uh, Ren regarding that in the new year um, he's done some awesome work some awesome conversions definitely worth looking at he's currently working on uh, Annex's um, I think it's a capital building uh, which will look Totally. I mean, you can just just watch his videos. You'll see his current uh, progress is uh, is amazing, and the whole table is just going to look outstanding. Um, go and check him out, guys. So that concludes my uh, shout out section for the moment. Um, if I've missed you out, uh, it's because you'll be coming in for future videos, guys. Um, so don't worry, I won't forget anybody that I enjoy to watch. And um, now we'll move on to a review. Now, uh, apologies to the uh, subscriber who's recently uploaded a video. Well, I've got a brain like a sieve this morning, and I only discovered the site this morning thanks to his YouTube vid. Um, and basically, he's uh, done a Space Wolves conversion using parts from Chapter House Studios. Um, I so wish I knew that this uh, company was out there ages ago because basically they are specialising in custom bits for Warhammer 40k and, fa and uh, Fantasy. Um, there's, there's just so well. There's a fair. Few, there's not a massive selection, but there's definitely some something for somebody here. I mean, just to give you an idea, uh, you have vehicle conversion kits uh, for Space Marine players. And they currently have salamanders, they've got generic parts, which is what I've brought today. Space balls, flesh tears, and iron snakes. I haven't heard of them before. But some of the generic bits, basically, you've got drop pod doors. Uh, and even though these two images are the same, one's the armoured predator for the side and one's for the front. Um, definitely, I've ordered a kit of that, see what that's like. And also, the uh, I love this pre-heresy style armor for all over a rhino it just looked it looked like an armadillo it looked great so 
Um, there's even an option to turn an old rhino, a, a new rhino hull into a, an old style one. Interesting. And I've also had some of these tactical rhino doors because perfect for a deaf company rhino. Perfect. In fact, that just looks so awesome. So all these little bits that you add to models will look great. Anyway, moving on, you've got all sorts at this site, all sorts. Um, you've got 28mm weapon bits, conversion bits for the Adeptus Mechanicus, Elder, Tyranids, Imperial Guard and Super Heavy. Another thing I couldn't help but have this morning is the, uh, there's a, I haven't had this yet, the conversion kit for the Tyranid Turrigon. That, that looks really cool because it's irritating me not having one of those models. Um, but one of the things I've had today is this my sept hang on how do you pronounce it my setic spore um, I love this um, I don't have the time to go into converting I'm afraid but they've covered this pretty well with the extra um, weapon mount you have the tentacles you have all sorts of weird ass openings on it uh, paint it up nicely that will make uh, quite an awesome piece that will it's um, really quite amazing really uh, I'm quite impressed with it reasonably priced $35 saves me converting everything and I love these tyranid heads uh, but they've been sculpted to look like the actual uh, alien heads out of the movie we all know and love so that would be um, interesting, I've ordered some of them, I don't know how long shipping to the UK will be, but it'll probably be some time, but I'm in no rush, no thanks to the, uh, I wish I could remember his name, uh, the guy on uh, YouTube who's recently, I think he only uploaded it this morning, so but this site is definitely worth checking out guys, Chapter House Studios, I will put all of the appropriate links in um, the description on the YouTube vid page so you can all um, click happily to the sites that I've been talking about but check this one out definitely worth checking out I and mean, look at this super heavy vehicle for tower here obviously it's a lot more expensive but um, it's really nice and refreshing to see another company actually um, giving us more options other than what Games Workshop give us um, quite frankly with copyright I don't have to get in away with it I really don't care um, but they're definitely worth a look so check them out guys well, I hope you've enjoyed my new extended video and I'll chat to you all soon cheers mm -hmm.